Hey guys, it's Matt from the Hickory Grove here. Uh, I want to show you a nice backyard plant that everybody could use. It's edible, it's medicinal, and it's easy to identify. Uh, this is the wild burdock. I'm sure a lot of people have seen it before. Uh, this plant, <clears throat> when it gets bigger, will have a big stem that comes up. and It has those little sticky balls that prick to you and they kind of just stick to your clothes and your animals and your hair and they follow you around. Um, so that's how most people know this plant is just off of those little sticky tag lines. Uh, this plant though is a very um, edible plant in, in a lot of its parts and I mean that in the sense that its big leaves, its uh, stems and its roots all can be consumed at various stages of its life. Um, and a lot of people know it for its uh, root system when it, when it comes to teas or even just cooking because its roots can be eaten raw or it can be cooked like a, you would a uh, carrot or a potato. So we're going to take a closer look at it so I can help you identify if you have any of the burdock in your backyard. The first thing you want to look at and what people notice most is these giant sized leaves. I'm going to pluck just so everybody can see. These leaves are huge, as you can see, and they grow uh, bigger than this as the summer goes on, but they're very big. And you can see the way the veins grow, they're very defined, very defined veins, as you can see. And you can get a closer look. They kind of imprint in, so they're kind of recessed into the leaf. So that's what the leaf looks like on this side. On the back side, it's going to be like a whiter color, like a, a silver almost, kind of when it fans, it'll look silver in the sunlight. But you'll see that it turns very veiny back here on the leaves, very, very, very veiny. And it is also fuzzy. And that's what's going to separate it from a plant that would look like it, like rhubarb. Rhubarb is smooth on the back side. It'll look like this, but it'll be smooth. Uh, burdock is very fuzzy, very, very fuzzy. You'll notice right away. And that's what the stem will look like. It'll have a grooved inset, like you would see on a celery stalk, but you'll have little, almost little little fuzzies along the stem. Um, and it's multicolored. It, it's, it's got the green and it's got the reddish purple as it goes down. So you'll be able to identify that as burdock. Uh, <clears throat> oh, pick you guys up here. Now, if you look close at the rosette, and what I mean by rosette, a rosette is when a plant grows together, like right here. This is a rosette. All these are coming off one singular central point, a rosette. Um, but as you see, there's multiple rosettes here. Here's a rosette in this clump. This would be a rosette. This clump would be a rosette. And then here's another great example of a rosette. And that's how you can identify just off the stems. They all meet at that central location. They'll have the multicolor from the green down to like the purplish red into its rosette. Now this right here is another leaf coming out and it'll resemble this young guy right here. So these little ones, since if we were on to eat these stems, You'd want to go for these littler stems. Uh, you can still eat these, and they kind of take, they have like a celery texture to them, and they taste pretty well. But uh, I suggest going for the smaller ones. The roots go for the younger the plant, the better the root. The older the plant, the more bitter your root is going to be. We have a younger plant right here. This would be a prime example of uh, a good young one to get the root from, so it's not so bitter. And you'd want to harvest most of these plant parts in the spring um, or after the plant has gone dormant after the first or second frost in the fall uh, otherwise your roots are going to be pretty dried out and not have the medicinal value but uh so when we're talking about this type of plant oop, when we're talking about this type of plant we want to remember that it's its main benefits are for health so this is a blood cleaner. Every, this is the main thing about it for medicinal uses, is it's, it's a blood cleaner and um, 
it's good for the skin so it goes in it detoxifies it pushes out bad things through our pores like when we sweat and stuff um that that'd be the medicinal value for us everybody uses teas tinctures um you name it stuff like that i have always looked at this plant as eating it into soup stews like a vegetable so however you want to use it, it has lots of uses but it is called wild burdock i hope you guys learned something from it if you have any questions about wild burdock of how to use it what you want to do with it send me a message gladly sit there and talk to you for a while uh, other than that you guys take care of yourselves i will talk to you later